Hashtag NFL rank. That's what ESPN.com is calling their latest top 100 players in the NFL list. The .com staff made it clear that this is not an MVP vote and the directions were simple. Rate players based on greatness. So let's take a look at that list again. Skip. Tony Romo, number 31. Mm. J you didn't have a vote, clearly. J.J. Mm. Watt, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady rounding out the top three. Nelly is with us all day. He's yeah. fired up. And guess who is back? Ryan Clark. Ryan, we Mr. need to get your Mr. take Clean. on this. Mm. Okay. Always. Is J.J. Watt the best player in the NFL currently? So is this like kind of almost like a Madden ranking, right? So it's not necessarily are you most valuable to a team uh, positionally it's about your dominance yeah and it's, if you, it's and how close are you to right. being the all-time greatest at your at position, your position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's right yeah. if, we're, if, we're, if we are taking how great are you at playing your position because we all, you have to remember the quarterback position is always inflated it's always inflated because I don't think it's inflated. It's just the re the reason inflated. Is it, okay. Think about it. Think about it. When you talk about quarterbacks, no matter how good the team is, a quarterback is his legacy is always tied to Super Bowls because they feel like if that quarterback won a certain amount of Super Bowls, he had to be a huge factor in it. Whereas we, talk we talked about Tom Brady yesterday. The first two, he managed those games. You know, Trent Dilfer has a Super Bowl win as well. Do you put him ahead of Dan Marino? So I think the quarterback position gets a lot of love and sometimes a lot of flack for that's um, undeserved. But you look at J.J. Watt. He's the most dominant person playing a position in football. You move him inside, guards can't block him. You move him outside, tackles and tight ends can't handle him. You can't double team him. You put him on offense, cats can't check him. You throw him passes, he catches touchdowns. You fumble the ball, magically he's the guy there to scoop it up and do a terrible dance at the end. Now, do I think he, when we, we, you kind of <laughs> interview him, and, and, and he, he, he does a little, you know, he does a, a, a little bit to self-promote. Mm -hmm. But when you're that good, it doesn't matter. Yeah. He is the best positional player in football. I don't mind the showmanship. I mean, definitely. And I think he's, I think he's a great player and I definitely believe in um, everything that you just said as well but that defense was ranked 16th they were ranked 24th in passing if if this was any it other sport it ain't because of him no but, <laughs> but uh, no I'm not saying that but what I'm saying is you, your impact is not causing wins if your impact was 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 causing wins, I I, I see that, and I'm not. And, and you're absolutely right. Can it cause right. wins at that position? I don't I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It can cause wins from the quarterback position. So in other words, sometimes that position is more valuable. So if that position is more valuable, how can that position not be at the top of the list? That's 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 just my thinking. Because they, say, echo, because they said it wasn't an MVP vote though. And you lighten me up to that. And 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 everything that you just said, now rethinking it, I have to agree with you. If that's if that's the criteria upon which this this list was made, mm -hmm. then yeah, I don't think there's a better uh, defensive lineman in the game because, like you said, you can move him anywhere. He's going to have that type of that type of impact. I agree. I, I would I would love to have him on the Rams. I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, what I'm saying? Need him. well, I'm, I'm yeah. well, I mean, if he's this good, who everybody needs him. <laughs> if he's the number one, if he's this great, if he's a 98.8, they could use everybody him. Everybody needs right. him. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs him if he's number one. All he's right. catching touchdowns. He's doing everything. Mm -hmm. There's not a team on the, in, in the league that he can't play for. Ryan Clark, I love you, <laughs> but I am very disappointed in you. I, I'm shocked at your take on this one. I, I truly anticipated you would go our way on this because our way is that his team that he stars for as, as a guy who's on his way to becoming the greatest defensive whichever you want to call him a tackler and end ever at his position. Right. That team is 11 and 21 over the last two years. And you say the quarterback position is inflated in, in its value. So you, you can argue back to me, well, they've had Matt Schaub. You can, you can discount the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying back to your argument, quarterback doesn't really matter because he is on his way, to quote this poll, somebody, one of the voters is saying, on his way to becoming the greatest ever at his position. 
and the I'm score. Another. I'm in 100%. Okay. Agree. Okay. Okay. The score. He's he's a 99. I'm rounding up just a tad here. The the highest score of all time is 100. J.J. Watt after four NFL seasons is at a 99. And I'm just going to throw out a few names at you because I just watch on my couch on Sunday. Okay. Lawrence Taylor leaped off my screen. No he doubt. took over football games in ways that shocked and, and astonished me mm -hmm. because you could just see it. He was unblockable coming off the edge, and he broke Joe Theismann's leg, compound fractured it to the bone was sticking out of his leg. And I know I'm being dramatic ah, here, no, but, it's but real, still, that, that's the kind of play that Lawrence Taylor routinely made. When he was in his right mind, he had his issues, but 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 in his wrong okay. mind. When he was in his wrong <laughs> mind, I, okay. Mind. He's but, good. but listen, Charles Haley just got in the Hall of Fame, and he deserved to be in years ago because he's five Super Bowl monster. rings, just absolute unblockable monster coming off the edge. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. People yeah, he scared. He played with Jerry Rice. Okay. He played okay. with Roger Craig. Okay, but in but, Dallas, he but took, he took defense. defense. Hey, <laughs> but a, Ryan, that Ryan, helps you Ryan, win Super Bowls. The 1992 right. Dallas Cowboys were not remotely ready to do what they were about to do and Charles Haley was the X factor. They stole him from the 49ers and he took him over the edge into the Super Bowl. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So then I, I keep going to Deion Sanders. Was, he changed yep. the game of football. He, he he's he's a hundred at his position. And and again, as a defensive force, that changes the way you game plan. I, I'm just not I know what JJ Watt does. I get all that, but it's not having dramatic impact on the outcome of the football Deion game. Do you, was Deion Sanders the same Deion Sanders when he was an Atlanta no, Falcon? No. He, he was a younger player, though. He's more of a returner than a corner. He, but he locked okay. down sides there. The reason right. the San Francisco 49ers and the reason the Dallas Cowboys mm -hmm. got him later on in his career was because of what he was able to do in Atlanta. It wasn't because he put wins mm -hmm. in the stat column. It was because he locked down people, and they understood that if we get him on our team, now he doesn't have to stick Jerry Rice, or now he's not on Michael Irvin. Or to actually switch teams uh, from San okay, Francisco to Dallas. I, I get it. My other thing is this, though. J.J. Watt, I'll just, for perspective, a good friend of mine is the cornerbacks coach at the Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. He calls me when Julius Peppers gets there. They're just talking about what J.J. Watt's been doing, and they were just saying, man, it's, it's just unbelievable. Like, I don't know how he's doing this. And he said, if everything I see about J.J. Watt is what it is, then he's the best I've ever seen do it. This is Julius Peppers, who's one of who is That's my man. who's one of the best players, who has been one of the best player at, players at his position he since he's been in the league. He said, if everything is what I see, He's the he's he's the best I've ever seen do it, and that's a that's from a peer. That's from somebody that plays the position. I'm not saying that if we were drafting guys, would I take Aaron Rodgers first? No doubt. Would I take Tom Brady right after him? I mm -hmm. sure would. But if we're talking about a person that dominates his position, he dominates this position to me like when Randy Moss first got into the league in Minnesota, he dominated he that did. position. Right. He was probably the best player in the NFL just positionally. Maybe not. More, most important yep. or most valuable, and so for me, you put JJ Watt on any team, he does this. Okay, I'm, it's I'm a just hard going, position to okay, produce Ryan, wins from. I, I'm, I'm doing eye test here. I'm doing. I, I, I don't get to watch the Texans every game because, frankly, I haven't cared about the Texans that much over the last two, really, really the last four years, for that matter. But. I watched the whole game when they played at Jerry World against my Dallas Cowboys. It went to overtime. Romo finally made a throw to Dez. We're about to talk about who's mm -hmm. more valuable between those two. Yep. But it broke the game open. And yet, I watched the whole game, and I did not walk away from my TV set saying, man, that J.J. Watt was unblockable today. He was good, but he wasn't all-time great to where I said, that guy is it, man. He, that's the greatest I've yeah, ever seen. He's had over 20 sacks I, two I, of the last three years. Okay. And, and they went Yo, two he and 14. Yo, he played 16 games. Okay, <laughs> two and 14 and nine and seven. Somehow it's not having rub-off effect on this football team. It's, 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 it's I think, again, it's, the, it's, it's almost. Did the Giants make the playoffs when straight ahead had 22? I don't know. 22, no. I don't remember that. No. One. Brett Favre gave did. it in the last one, right? Okay, so yeah. the 21 he yeah, got. Okay. Right. But they didn't win the Super Bowl that year. That no. didn't necessarily produce a championship team, but he was killing it. Well, I don't, I don't think, again, and you have enlightened me, 
to this. Oh, yeah, are you this. folding? No, 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 no. He's come on he's, over, Nelly. He, listen, yeah. come on. No, over. he hey, has going like, down, down, baby. Let's go. Like on. I, like I asked earlier, <laughs> who did this list? Because I wanted to seventy know the people voted. Seventy. Well, I wanted to know their thinking and going into this list because it, it was hard for me to understand mm -hmm. it as part of the voting. But if you say the voting is what it is, as far as who dominates their position like no other. Mm -hmm. He dominates his position like no other. But are we Skip saying but uh, are we Skip. saying that that position rules the game of football? No. No, no that's, that, that's not what Okay, asking. okay, well that's that's more uh, of Although a, you of do a say I have one. It, it has now gotten hot in here. Because oh, I agree. Oh, oh, it has now gotten hot. <laughs> you you mispronounced the final word in that l line, right? Her, her, her. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Put the two R's in there, man. All right. Come so on. JJ Watt is one of seven players to win multiple <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year awards. The other is Ray Lewis, and the other five are all in the Hall of Fame. Of course, Ray Lewis will be as well. So we asked you guys earlier in the show which player would you rather have, Des Bryant or Tony Romo? The results are in. We're getting into that after the break. Ryan, you are staying put. Uh-oh.